Okay, so I have to show you this picture of me when I was a child. Okay, so the point of me showing you this picture is because I was sitting here the other night and I was just scribbling in the dark on my notepad because it was load shedding so I didn't have electricity for about two hours. This picture fell out of my journal and this has never really crossed my mind before when I saw this picture so I was about three years old in this picture and my outfit is you know pretty um, on point. You know I've always noticed that I was a happy child in this picture obviously because I'm about to receive a gift. But when I was looking at this picture the other night, I saw a completely different perspective of this picture and I gave it a completely new meaning. And I found it to be very impactful and very meaningful for me, so I thought I would share it today. So this picture of me uh, when I was about three years old, receiving a gift. You'll see that I am very excited and I've got my party hat on, I'm ready for a good time. And what I was thinking about this, the very first thing that kind of came to mind when I saw this picture, when it fell out of my journal, was to be like the girl in the picture, to be childlike and to have that sense of wonder, that sense of excitement, not knowing what I'm about to uncover in this gift. So with this gift, that is an unknown factor. There's uncertainty involved and I don't really know what the gift is yet. But I'm so excited to uncover what the gift is. And so this kind of gave me a deeper perspective, a deeper meaning. And I was thinking to myself, because I was also reflecting on another theme, which is that there's an opportunity in everything. So the next thought that hit me was that life is always handing me gifts. It's always handing me opportunities. Even when the situation that is presented to me doesn't look like an opportunity, you know, if you're looking at face value, there's a gift in everything. And I've, you know, gone through enough hardship in my life to know that even the difficult times, there is a gift in the difficult time, whether it's a lesson, whether it's wisdom, whether it's a deeper understanding of myself or of the world or of others, there is a gift in everything. So I started to think about this from that perspective of seeing everything that presents itself to me in life as a gift and to embrace the uncertainty with that childlike attitude of wonder, of excitement, of seeing the world with awe and knowing, you know, that there's so much to look forward to. I remember as a child, I was always so curious. I was always asking why, you know, if something was happening I would ask my mom or my dad or my sister why why does that happen that way and I would actually aggravate people um, because of that curiosity but that curiosity has never left me I've always had this insatiable desire for knowledge and for knowing how things work understanding how things work how people work and that is one trait that has really served me because it's helped me to also deal with things very differently when I have that curiosity, you know, and I've found that my curiosity has also led me to a lot of things that I wouldn't have otherwise uncovered. So what I also really like about the childlike state or the childlike attitude and if you've ever engaged with a child or if you've ever known a child, you'll know that they're very authentic, they're very expressive and they tell you what they think. So they don't sugarcoat things, they don't say things a different way. Um, and sometimes it can be very brutal. Children can be very brutal with their honesty, but I love that authenticity. And when you're a child and you're in that phase where you're starting to discover yourself and who you are in the world, you tend to be very real, very authentic, and you're drawn to things that genuinely spark your interest. So that's another element that really came to mind when I thought about being childlike, you know, with that childlike or wonder, excitement and authentic expression. And lastly, another thing that I was reflecting on was the innocence of being a child. I feel like, um, you know, between childhood and adulthood, there's a lot that happens when you are forming your identity and we make mistakes. We 
do a lot of things that are basically there to teach us how to be better, how to grow, how to learn. And, you know, as a result of those things that happen, sometimes we make bad choices, sometimes we make mistakes. And with those mistakes, we tend to really put ourselves down. We give ourselves a lot of slack. We maybe even um, self-hate, you know, our self-worth, our self-esteem plummets when we don't feel good about ourselves as a result of feeling guilty. So another thing that I've been reflecting on recently is reclaiming that childlike innocence understanding that every situation that I went through in my life where I made a mistake or where I didn't do things the way that they were supposed to be done or if I hurt someone's feelings or if I hurt myself, I forgive myself for where I was in the past and I acknowledge that where I was at the time, I didn't know any better and I didn't know how to deal with those things any better at the time. And so right now I can look back on those things and I can say, oh, okay, that could have been handled differently. This could have been handled differently. And through that reflection, I'm able to go forward responding to those situations differently and in a better way and in a more effective way that is better for everyone involved, for me, for the world, for the people in my life and for the people that my actions affect. But so often when we've made mistakes years ago, we carry that guilt with us we carry that shame and that you know that burden with us from the past and so what i've really come to understand in recent years is that you need to forgive yourself and you need to forgive others for what has happened in the past because the past is gone we've got nothing but memories we can't relive the past we can only relive it through memory and so we need to be able to move forward and create change by reframing the way we see these things instead of believing oh I'm not good enough or I'm dumb or whatever it is that you're telling yourself that is negative you can start to reframe these things and start to say listen I forgive myself for making that mistake because I didn't know any better at the time and so from the perspective that I had at the time I did the best that I could with what I had and maybe you didn't do your best. Maybe you really made a mistake and you knew it was wrong at the time. But going forward, you can choose differently. And if you don't choose differently, then that is still your choice that you're making. So again, just reclaiming that innocence, knowing that you are innocent and you've forgiven yourself and going back to that childlike, you know, state of being of and this isn't to say that you should be um, childish or that you should be immature. It's more in the sense of just honoring your inner child that still lives with you. That is the message that I wanted to share today. Reclaiming that childlike aspect of myself and seeing everything in life as a gift. Seeing every opportunity that presents itself to me and just approaching life with this attitude, with this excitement not knowing not knowing what is waiting for me in this gift and obviously um, not everything in life will present itself as a gift but rather you know just to approach life with that childlike excitement that curiosity that authentic expression and knowing you know that i am constantly evolving and growing and that i'm going to be learning along the way and that I've made mistakes, but that I've also learned from my mistakes and I can make better decisions going forward. So I just wanted to share that. I thought it was pretty um, eye-opening and very different since I have never really thought about this picture in that way. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.